Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will discuss 10 real-time interview questions and answers based on automation testing where we are using Selenium WebDriver, Maven and Git as the version control. You can use this for your practice or maybe interview preparation. How do you design your test automation framework using Selenium WebDriver? So you can say I am, we are following a modular maintainable page object model uh, framework design pattern in our test automation framework where each web page is represented by a class where we are um, writing all the web UI element and the methods corresponding um, to the page class and we are also creating um, corresponding Java classes where we are uh, doing the uh, validations. Uh, we are using page object model because it improves reusability and it helps in maintaining the code. It is uh, also very readable. For example, then you can give one example. For example, uh, for the login page class, uh, I have created uh, web UI elements using at the rate find by uh, annotation and then we have created methods like that. Maybe you can give one example and uh, just try to explain and you can say like we are also using test ng for uh, um, test organizing. For the organization of test we are using test ng and uh, for the report purposes we are using extend report. Structure of Selenium test, test case. This is for your understanding. Like first we will have uh, the username element password uh, element for example let's take the example of login page you have username password and login button so how will you write your uh, page class you will say username element which will represent the input field for user username field then we will have password field then you will have login button where for that you will write a function also uh, which will accept two parameters username and password right so in the same way you can explain in the interview how do you manage dependencies in your framework? So we are using Maven for dependencies management. All the dependencies such as Selenium, TestNG, WebDriver Manager, Extent Report and all the other required uh, dependency we are using Maven. Um, and uh, for that we have we are adding all the dependencies in spom.xml file and where we are you know using the dependency tag and adding the uh, dependencies under the dependency tag. This avoids manual jar file management and support CI also with Jenkins easily. Like that you can explain. Next question, question number three. How do you manage test data in your test automation framework? So we are using test driven approach where we are exporting the test data in Excel and uh, sometimes or JSON file. Depending upon your situation, you can give the example. Let's say if you're using Excel, then you can say for uh, using Excel files, we are using Apache PUI libraries. Um, for example, like, you know, give one example based on that. So this is like Excel reader. Reader is equal to new Excel reader test data dot XLS. Test data is your file name and the reader is the object which I have created for Excel reader class. Excel reader is what a uh, custom utility class, right? Which is provided by Apache PUI library. And then login is a sheet name. One is a row number. Username is a column header. So this test will help you running the test with multiple uh, set of data. Like you can give valid and invalid data and then it can give you the result. Next question, how do you handle multiple web elements in Selenium? So um, to handle dynamic web elements, we are mostly using XPath and uh, yeah, uh, wherever necessary to interact with the elements, we are also using explicit weight. And then you can say like you know, um, by dot XPath and then we are giving the uh, path. How do you handle synchronization issues in Selenium? So primarily we are using explicit weight to handle synchronization. Um, like for example, um, explicit weight will check the expected, uh, it will run the test case until it is met the expected condition. In this case, like it is checking the invisibility of element locator. Uh, if it is uh, able to find it by using this ID, it will wait till then and then it will, uh, it, it won't fail. So when we use explicit weights, tests don't fail due to the timing issues. Okay, so the next question is how do you integrate your test automation with the Git or CID? Are you using uh, Git in your project? What is it? Uh, Git is a version control management system. Um, yes, we are using uh, Git. 
so my framework is integrated with jenkins where uh, like in jenkins we have uh, uh, we have configured some jobs for uh, testing uh, for testing like when we there is an option in jenkins where you can write the uh, maven command right then it will pull the code from uh, the github repository and it will start the execution so you can explain in that manner and then test reports are published as HTML reports also. How do you manage con an environment configurations? Like if you have uh, multiple URLs or if multiple uh, environments are there, how are you managing that in your framework? So um, I'm using config.property file where we are, uh, you know, using the specific environment specific data. Let's say if I have, if I have to test in QA or test, then I'm just changing the value in my configuration file. And then we are using that file in a test automation framework we are reading it uh, reading the file using property class in java you are creating an object of property class and then you are um, calling that uh, uh, class and then you are just loading it and using it in your project in the same way you can give example of uh, other uh, uh, configured properties file like you have created one for the url and one for the browser file etc how do you implement cross browser testing in your framework this um, you can answer maybe like you know web using web driver manager we are uh, handling the cross browser testing um, like you know simply you can say browser type is fetched from config dot properties because in config dot properties we are uh, uh, we have maintained our different browsers using that we are just using it in our test automation framework how do you generate and manage test report? Are you using any uh, third party libraries or any tools to generate reports? Yes, we are using extent report to generate uh, HTML report. Uh, so we are using this extent report related dependency in pom.xml file. And uh, then um, when we run our uh, uh, test cases like um, as testng.xml, we are getting the extent report as an HTML file, which shows the test case passes, pass, fail, and the time stamp also it is getting stored in reports folder yeah how do you ensure that test automation framework is scalable and maintainable yes um we know we are making sure that the framework is maintainable um because we are uh, breaking down the framework into core modules like we have base classes we have um, pages we have utilities we have resources we have test classes and uh, we are making sure that we are using reusable methods and all the common actions like click send keys and wait these all are in base page class base page class we are using it to uh, initialize our driver or tearing it down and then we are also using uh, java uh, in java oops concept in our test automation framework I forgot to add this question actually. Uh, the next question would be, are you using any Java uh, concept in your framework? Have you implemented any Java related concept in your framework? Then you can say yes, uh, um, we uh, we have incorporated all the different Java oops concept in our framework like object classes, inheritance, encapsulation, etc. Um, because uh, at every stage we are creating Java classes. We are also creating an object of the class to initialize the uh, to initialize the uh, value um, to initialize the variable, and uh, we are also using um, inheritance where we are you know creating a base class and then it getting it extended by other classes so that the other classes can use the methods and functions defined in the base class uh, by using the keyword extend, and we are also using encapsulation like uh, we are using at the rate find by. Um, annotation which is coming from page factory and we are initializing the elements using page factory uh, which keeps the data and methods um, separate from the outside uh, uh, classes so that is how we are using encapsulation so guys this type of examples you can give in your um, interview if they ask you have you used any java related concept let just let me know if you want a detailed video on that yeah all right guys i will see in the next video with another um, question bye guys bye just let me know if you find this video useful bye bye